What up, everyone? Crypto Marxists, a.k.a. Bone Army, coming at you. If you like the Shiba Inu ecosystem, Bone, Sheep, Leash, the Shiboshis, Tree, She, all that good stuff, you're in the right place. All right. First of all, I held a poll. All right. I held a poll. You guys said, I asked you guys, I'm like, what content do you guys want to see more of? 32 votes. Shabarium content, 22%. Alpha on burn rate that no one has mentioned. I'm the only one that knows this. I haven't heard it anywhere else, but 0%. No, no, no worries. You know, I'll keep the, the ultra alpha to myself. All right, cool. Um, bad idea AI, 72%. The bad brigade is in the building. Has the bad brigade taken over my channel? Do they have an undue influence? Who knows? Find out more as we moon. All right, cool. Uh, Toad Killer. Okay, that one is a banger too. 3% on that one. And find Shabarium Gems. 3% on that. So based on this, I'm going to go ahead and cover this week. Bad idea, mostly. I'm going to cover some Shabarium content. I'm going to cover Toad. And I'm going to cover... Uh, finding Shabarium Gems. I'm going to cover the comments too because there was this dope comment from DJ Screet and it said, how to navigate Shabarium. Please really appreciate the content. Reading that Shib paper was epic. Thank you, bro. Appreciate that. So, um, you know what? That's So when I do Shabarium content, I'm going to show you how to navigate that. It's, I mean, like how to get the RPC, how to um, maybe bridge how to buy a token we'll buy a token so yeah that's that's no problem for sure so definitely trying to maintain a balance between giving you alpha bringing um news updates and giving you guys what you want all right so all right cool this is at after all crypto marks is aka bone army this is my channel this is your channel this is our channel you feel me all right cool with that said moving on so this is basically the news right here you guys want some news on bad idea we'll peep this mr light speed aka christopher cj johnson phd in preparation for launching the project on shabarium and the project he's talking about is bad idea ai if you are not familiar with bad idea ai i could just quickly just show you the page um the web page is at badidea.ai. Essentially what this is, it is right now the most hype Shabarium um, related project that has been bridged over to Shabarium. Okay, because as you guys see, there's a couple tokens taken off in Shabarium. So with that said, bad idea, the bad is an acronym, blockchain, AI, DAO. That's what all three of them stand for. So it says um, it's a new decentralized experiment. Will artificial intelligence overtake humanity? Not if we have anything to say about it. Instead, they'll work for us. But that might be a bad idea. And the biggest holder is actually this humanity fund. In fact, let me give you a little um, something. It says our first bad initiative, Konaiha, trademark. You know, AI is here to stay. Humanity must use blockchain and DAOs to ensure they have our best interests at heart. To ensure this becomes the case, we've begun working on a consortium of AI for humanity's advancement, or as we call it, the best case scenario group. As relatively long-time AI users and thought leaders in the blockchain space, we dedicated to assist, we're dedicated to assist in the Konaiha protocol, ensuring that it powers our collective future. That is if you're also going to help we are decentralized remember all right cool so that's a, set, a little background into it it's the official ai project of shabarium okay and shabarium is the layer two blockchain that uh, shiba inu has developed for their ecosystem which entails a massive array of different projects from digital to physical services to metaverse services, video games, eventual partners with uh, brick and mortar fast foods like Wellies, 
uh, which is already in the works. All right, cool. Let's stay on this. All right, because there's just so much to cover. So, um, so it says in preparation for launching the project on Shabaram, we've asked the Mars Swap team to perform a fourth audit on the smart contract code summary. Mars Swap security scope. Smart contract audit for bad idea AI bad is marked as passed. Result without severe issues on the contract logic and functions of the contract. Review of the project and description of the project's use case as an digital asset and the contract itself follows the line of good practices. Contract is very well commented and gives a proper understanding for third parties. There are no severe or lower level vulnerability findings in the contract. Link github.com forward slash Mars swap scope forward slash some other stuff. Next step, tokenomics review on liquidity and bridging requirements. So that's the next step, okay? So they just got the fourth audit. We're about to check it out as well. But what's the next step? The next step is the tokenomics review on liquidity and bridging requirements. So let's go ahead and go to that GitHub. When you go there, this is what appears. Mars swap scope, bad idea, AI audit report.pdf. Okay, of course, GitHub, banger site, where you get the the all the super alpha. There's all there's super alpha. And this is where you come get it. Okay. So it says uh Mars swap. Security audit report for bad idea AI bad the contract number Mars swap audit provided by fintech global services audit tools used include Manticore, Visual Code, Mithril, and Remix Mars swap safety and security table of contents summary of audit page three details of audited project three auditing methods and Covering sectors, smart contract details, summary of audit results, severity of risk and vulnerabilities. Seven, seven. Uh, reported vulnerabilities, issues, and informational notes. Seven. Findings in depth. Eight. A floating pragma is set. Eight. Documentation and commenting. Eight. Correctness and specifications. Eight. Following the best practices, eight history of revisions, functions, and variables, nine functions and signatures, nine smart contract UML, 10 history of revisions, 10. Okay, so that is the table of contents. So, Mars swap safety and security S summary of audit details of audited project. So, audited project, bad idea, the source code. Right there, solidity file, bad idea, AI.so, security audit date, the 28th of August, 2023, Rev revisions initial, August 28th, 2023, auditing methods, automatic review, and manual review, auditing methods, and covering sectors, evaluation objective for the security audit, quality of smart contract code, issues and vulnerabilities with security, documentation, project specifics and commenting on smart contract correctness of specific uh, specifications regarding the use case following the best practices on smart contract audit covers these sectors of smart contract for possible vulnerabilities issues and recommendations for better practices in case of severe or medium issues dependence transaction order signal single and cross function re-entrancy time dependency integer overflow integer underflow mishandled exceptions and call stack limits unsafe external calls number rounding errors insufficient gas issues logic logical oversights access control centralization of power logic specification contradiction functionality duplication malicious contract behavior and abusable functions, possible DOS vulnerability. The code review conducted for this audit follows the following structure. One, review of the specifications, documentation, and commenting provided by the project owners regarding the functionality of the smart contract. Two, automated 
analysis of the smart contract, followed by manual line by line analysis of the smart contract. Three, assessment of smart contracts correctness regarding the documentation and commenting compared to functionality. Four, assessment of following the best practices. Five, recommendations for better practices in case severe or medium vulnerabilities. So smart contract details. So there it is, the contract address, blockchain, language, compiler, ether scan, verification. I don't know why it says unknown, verify. Uh, type of contract. As you guys know, it's an ERC-20 token standard, which is going to bridge over to Shelbarium. Okay, libraries used, looks empty, optimization enabled, yes, with 200 runs, number of interfaces, Two, number of contracts, four, hmm, solidity versions, total lines, sell tax, zero, buy tax, zero, adjustable, so they can adjust, that's really good. That that was my one issue with the other AI project. I don't want to you want to mention it because I don't want to poo-poo it, but, well, it really doesn't matter. It was, it's uh, NFAI, which is another amazing project, honestly related to um shabarium but the taxes every time it shot up it's like you try to take some profit and you were dropping like eight percent on it ten percent it's like whoo that's crazy and then when they wanted to buy it, it's like oh we have a sale zero percent tax it's like uh okay we're we know what you're up to bro all right cool contract is proxy no blacklist functions no can mint no possible no can limit transaction amount no Summary of audit results. Marswap Security Scope Smart Contract Audit for Bad Idea AI is marked as passed. Here it is. Result without severe issues on the contract logic and functions of the contract. Review of the project and description of the project's use case as a digital asset and the contract itself follows the line of good practices. Contract is very well commented and gives a proper understanding for third parties. There are no severe or lower level vulnerabilities findings in the contract. Changeable variables and side notes. Contract is not renounced. Contract follows the open Zeppelin standard without any modifications done. Interesting. Contract not renounced. All right. Severity of risk and vulnerabilities. So low severity, zero. Medium severity, zero. And high severity, zero. So it was really pretty good. Okay, reported vulnerabilities, issues, and informational nodes. Level of severity informational. Description floating fragments, fragment is set. File bad idea AI. Colon is affected. L colon 7C colon zero. Findings in depth, a floating pragma set. The current pragma solidity directive is, I don't know how to read that, 0 0.8.0. 0 .0. It is recommended to specify a fixed and locked compiler version to ensure that the byte code or bit code produced does not vary between the bills. This is especially important if you rely on. Bit code level verification of the code. Suggestion for future reference. Contracts should be deployed with the same compiler version and flags that they have been tested thoroughly. Locking the pragma helps to ensure that contracts do not accidentally get deployed using, for example, an outdated compiler version that might introduce bugs that affect the contract system negatively. As a severity of the finding, there is no adjustments needed and the contract has been successfully deployed and marked as informational. Documentation and commenting. The contract is very well commented on and gives the proper understanding of the contract for developers and other third parties for the understanding in a human readable format. Overall, the contract follows open Zeppelin standards, contracts, and is very clean without any additions made for the core contracts. Correctness of specifications. Smart contract follows the functionality that is stated in the documentation and description of the contract. The use case is also in line with what is described. 
with the project and no adjustments can be made by the owner except burn tokens. So let me read that one more time because this is actually good. The use case is also in line with what is described about the project and no adjustments can be made by the owner except burn tokens. Following the best practices, the contract follows the best practices from all parts, and there are no concerns from the auditor of any malicious use of the contract's functions as the contract is a non-adjustable open Zeppelin ERC-20 burnable token, well-commented, and clean code. So this contract is a non-adjustable open Zeppelin ERC-20 burnable token. That's a mouthful. But sounds good. All right. That's exactly what we want. So it says history of revisions, functions, and variables, functions, and signatures, sig hash function signature. And here it is. Go slowly for you guys to look at those. All right. And then just, I guess, at the very end is just the burn function. That's pretty dope. All right. So smart contract UML. There it is, bad idea, AI, ERC-20, ERC-20, burnable constructor, all right? So burnable, sends it over here, burn, burn from, I can shoot it from over here. All right, history of revisions. Initial audit was performed August 28th. 2023 and no need for further revisions of the smart contract audit the team has been informed of a clean audit result and the smart contract follows all the golden standards without actual vulnerabilities notifications are informative for future reference and that is it my people so as you guys can see the contract is clean it's a non-adjustable open Zeppelin ERC-20 burnable token, all right? And it, it says that they don't even have to review it. When you look at the summary of the audit, it says that it was marked as passed. And when it came to the severity of the risk and vulnerabilities, the low severity, medium severity, and high severity were all three zero, okay? So that is what um, bad ideas audit says one thing too to note the contract is not renounced but don't fret as the contract states the only function that can be applicable is the burn function so you can't have a proxy on it they it, they can't blacklist you they, they can't adjust the taxes as i told you they're zero buy zero sell and that is 100 percent unadjustable okay so with that said, you guys already know, I'm bringing you this. Um, you guys won the poll, Bad Brigade. So I'm going to go ahead and keep hitting you guys with this alpha. This I want you guys to know what the reports say. Don't just go ahead and listen or tell or, or read one tweet. Let's go ahead and go into it. It really takes about, what, 18 minutes? Look at that. We in, we in, we out. Knock it out quickly. Okay, I still have the SHIB world paper. That thing is about three a three-hour video. I read the entire thing. <laughs> so because you guys know I'm going to get that alpha. I'm, I'm, that's what I'm about. That's what the Bone Army is about. And I guess that's what the Bad Brigade is also about. We want to know what the details are, what how exactly are things functioning. Now that, that people are showing a little interest again in um, Shabarium, I'm going to go ahead and hit you guys with Shabarium. I'm going to probably do some analysis on a bad idea maybe some ta on bone as well i think it's like at 130 or something uh right now uh bad brigade i think is under the 7,000 mark as i told you it was gonna hit so now though we're getting to that point where uh and of course not financial advice but it might be a very opportune time to start analyzing if you want to actually get your bag up because uh we are at a very crucial level that we might not be in for too long because in my projection, of course, not financial advice, but I believe the bull run is most likely going to start end of September, sometime October. That's when I think everything's going to start moving. So 
uh, go ahead and get your positions in. Do your due diligence, okay? I will definitely, I hear you guys on the poll, so definitely hit you guys with some bad idea. I'm going to definitely hit you guys with some, some Shibarium. I read the comment. I'm going to show you how to get the RPC very easy, uh, the easiest way, literally uh, two clicks. You don't even have to research anything. Um, how to bridge. We'll probably buy some whatever is popping at the time, get a couple tokens. Um, and, yeah, that's, that's what it is. So with that said, if you got any value from this, go ahead and hit that sub. Go ahead and hit that like. Go ahead and hashtag bad at the very end of this. And, of course, hit the bell because some of my stuff is time-sensitive and urgent. If you want to help me spread the word, of course, the ultimate thing you can do is share the video. But with that said, I appreciate you guys. I see the numbers going up. And once again, I'm Bad Army. <laughs> I'm Bad Army. <laughs> I'm Bone Army. You're Bone Army. We are Bone Army. And with that. I'm out. Peace.